Okay, so today we're going to be doing a house build in The Sims 4, but with a twist. Because you see, each room is going to have a different colour palette. This is going to be both a lot of fun and horrendous. Let's do this. Okay, so as you can see right here, we've got an empty shell of a house. We've got the outside, downstairs, which consists of the lounge, kitchen, downstairs bathroom, and upstairs the master bedroom, kids bedroom, upstairs bathroom, and the study. Now, for an extra treat, we are going to be doing the downstairs and upstairs hallway of a random colour from a colour generator online. Oh, let's get this started. Okay, so our first room outside, let's pick a colour. Number three, green. I mean, okay, that, that's doable. That's doable. I think. Okay, so I think first thing we need to start with is getting the walls for the outside done. I mean, there's some pretty horrific colours here. I've got the Jungle Adventures pack is coming up for on this one, like. That's horrific. Right, flooring for the. Oh! <laughs> I mean, I feel if I put grass down, that would kind of be cheating, so we're not going to do that. I mean, that's horrific. Eh, I mean, that'll do, I suppose. An outdoor fence. I mean, there's worse out there, maybe? I don't think there is. Oh, it's going to have to be them. Right, so theoretically, the greenery outside should not be a problem. Yeah, I had a feeling that was not going to be a problem. Okay. <clears throat> Which window shall we go for? I mean, I think we should probably put the door in first. I mean, that's that's a bright door. Okay, what do we have for the roof? Oh. A lot. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's horrific. Do I have any roof decorations that are green? Of course we do. I mean... I suppose that, that will do. Yeah, I suppose we could have had a lot worse. Right, time to move on to the inside. Alright, so what colour are we going to have for the sitting room? Number six, black. Okay, okay, that, that's, that's doable, that's doable. Okay, so a black sitting room. Let's do this. Right, well, first off, I'm going to get the wallpaper done. Change that to black. Oh, there's actually... There's actually a lot of black in this. We'll do that. Black flooring. And a black door going into the sitting room. Now the only problem is we're not going to really be saying much of the furniture because, well, it's all black. Oh, 
in there. Black TV. There we go. Do we have a black rug? Oh boy, do we ever. A bit bigger. Oh, this is horrific. Do we have a black end table? We do. I mean, I don't know if that counts. Sure, it's in the colour palette. We'll, we'll, put, we'll put it there. Do I have black fireplaces? Oh! Oh, some of these look incredible. I may just find my new favourite thing. I got a big rug for in the middle of the room. There's, there's not really much else we can do with the sitting room. I'll add some wall decoration because... Because why not? Oh! That's got to be in Pink Floyd, obviously. <laughs> some of this stuff's horrific. Okay, so that's the sitting room done. Not really much I can do with it. I think I've kind of created these rooms a bit too big. So this could be interesting when it comes to doing stuff like the bathroom and bedrooms. Let's dive on to the next room. Okay, so our next room is gonna be the main kitchen. And for the color scheme, it is going to be white. Okay, okay, okay. I feel that's doable, I feel it's very doable. Right, white kitchen. Okay, so first, like we did before, We'll do the flooring and walls, and then we'll dive into getting the room finished. Okay. Now, I won't be using the same colour patterns twice for two different rooms. So I'm wanting each room to be very unique in their colour style. Do we have white islands? We do, but they need to be white. White fridge, I mean, I suppose that's kind of a given. What else do we have that we can use? White cookers? Oh, we do! Okay. So what we'll be doing with this one as well is we will be including the kitchen and dining room in together. I mean, I'm not... I'm not too unhappy with this, actually. I kind of like this, I'm not going to lie.
Okay, so that's kind of 90% of the kitchen done. I'm going to try and find a rug for the floor. Oh. I mean, that's, that's, that's a rug. That's, that is definitely a rug. <clears throat> right. White dining room now, mixed in with the kitchen. <laughs> a decorative ball of yarn. Because why not in the middle of the dining table? That's something every household should have. Put some nice pictures on. Because why not? Oh, one thing I forgot to do in the sitting room was lighten. Actually, let's do that now. <clears throat> Some white light for the kitchen. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I like that. And then we do a black light for the sitting room. I feel like we're gonna need quite a lot of light in this room to kind of add some brightness to it. But, but no, it's, it's a black sitting room. No, we'll, we'll keep it like that. In for the kitchen. Sure. Right, so for our next room, it is going to be our downstairs bathroom. Let's find out what colour we're going to use. Okay, so let's find out what colour we're going to use. Number one, red. Oh. <laughs> Okay, why not? Why not? Okay, so for our downstairs bathroom, we are going to have the door leading from the kitchen into it. And I feel this red door is going to contrast heavy in the white bathroom. Oh, wow. That is some red storage. Let's start with the floors. I'm not going to lie, I kind of like that. Oh, we've got the floor matching the walls. Yay. We get a red light. Matching the kitchen. Because why not? Re oh. <laughs> Some of these are horrific. I'll have a talking toilet. Because... You know, that, that's something that every household should have. A shower will even put in a bath for good measures. Create some counters for a sink. And do we have a red mirror? Of course we do. Why wouldn't we? We need a red towel. Looks like there's been an murder scene, but you know, red towel. Now I'm not gonna lie. I'm a bit good. There is no red toilet roll. Depressing. I mean, that's kind of it for the bathroom. There's not really much else we can do. I suppose we can put in picture. I mean... <laughs> picture an elephant above the bath. 
because why not? Alright, let's move on to the master bedroom. Alright, so for the master bedroom, we have number four, yellow. Oh. <sighs> okay, okay, that's what the generator wants. Alright, okay, so the master bedroom is going to be this main one here. First off, we're going to get a yellow door. This is going to be horrific. Oh. <laughs> I feel like we're now kind of need to pick the worst possible colour. The worst possible. Um. Oh. That's bright. You need sunglasses to go into that room. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I like it. Nice yellow bed. Yellow end tables? Oh lord above, these are very yellow. Everything yellow for the pets. Oh, we do! Lovely, lovely, lovely. We'll have a lemon wheel for a cat bed. Well, that room's officially hideous. Yellow lighting? Of course we do. Well, you're not going to mistake that, are you? are not going to lose that room in a hurry. More, more of the shame, really. Let's move on to the kids' bedroom. Right, so for the kids' bedroom, it is pick number one, red. We've already used red. That's for the bathroom. Oh, skip that one. Let's try again. Number eight, orange. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, Lord. Let's do this. Right, so kids' bedroom is orange. First off, let's get the door. Make the floor and wallpaper completely contrast orange, like bright, bright orange. Okay, now I'm not entirely opposed to some of these. Oh, these are the wallpapers. I'm gonna have a headache walking to that room. Oh, <laughs> oh, good lord, it gets worse. Oh no. Right, kids' bedroom. I think we'll say the same, for the sake of it, we'll use, we'll... Yeah... Well, this kid's gonna have therapy for life in this room. Surprisingly, the desk is the nicest thing in this room, I'm not going to lie. Any wall decorations? I mean... That's something. And orange lighting. Oh, that actually fits perfect for a kid. An orange cloud. Because why not? 
Alright, so our next room is going to be the study. Let's find out what colour we're going to use for this one. Okay, so we'll go down to our last two rooms. There's the study and the upstairs bathroom. And the only colours we have not had yet is pink and blue. So, let's find out. Number two or number five? Or number five. Pink. Okay. Pink study. Pink study, that's durable, that's durable. Right, pink study, let's get this started. Right, so we'll start with the flooring as usual. Oh, good sweet Jesus. Some of these are horrific. Now we need a bright pink for the walls. I mean, that's that's that'll do it. So every study needs a computer desk. Do they do pink? Oh. Oh, the dipping computers. <laughs> oh, good lord above. <laughs> For some reason that desk's not want to work, so we'll try this one. You know, why aren't the desks? Why aren't the computers going on the desks? Okay, I uh, suppose that was me being a tit. Pink chairs? Of course, of course there is. Pink rug. Well, this is going to be certainly the brightest room of the lot. Activities. That looks like something you get in a game in arcade. To be fair, that's pretty awesome. We don't have a pink easel. No, I wanted a pink easel. Well, <clears throat> as depressing as this may be, that might be the study done. Let's see if there's anything else I can add. There's not really a lot in terms of pink, which is kind of depressing. Okay, so now that we've done all the... No, I lie. So our last room is now going to be the upstairs bathroom, and it's going to be blue. Let's do this. Right, so we've got a blue door first. See, I feel blue for a bathroom. It's not too offensive. It's not too over the top. It's not too bad. But it's still, like, eh, bad, I guess. Right. Any blue mirrors? Oh, of course there is. And the question is, do we have blue toilet roll? We don't. That's really depressing. We had a blue shower. May as oh wow, that is a blue shower. That is a blue shower indeed. Right, so now that we've finished all of the main rooms in the house, we are going to move on to doing the hallway, both upstairs 
and downstairs. Downstairs is no near as colour contrast as upstairs, which... Eh. So let's go into Google and find a random colour generator. Okay, so I found a colour generator website. Let's generate random colour and let's see what we're going to get for the hallways. Blue lilac. Okay, that can kind of open the colour palette between both blue and like a pinky purpley. Cool, let's, let's do this. Okay, so, can we have multiple colours? We can. So we'll go blue and purple. And let's see what we can come up with for the floor. Oh, some of these are... Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll stick to that, we'll stick to that because... It adds colour to downstairs. I'll stick to that as well. We'll put the same upstairs. Oh, sweet Jesus. Right, so for some furniture. So there's not really that much that can go into like an entrance hallway. But. So you've got a hat stand. Coat rack. Oh, there is. Kind of. Sort of, we'll put that on there. That's kind of matching the colours. Oh, that, that, that fits perfectly. Upsize it a bit. I might put the same upstairs. Actually, I kind of like that. Need a coffee table. We need to redo the stairs. <clears throat> well, I think that's pretty much all we can kind of do for the entrance hallway. Do you know what? I would need to put in a light. Well, there we have it, Balamori in a house. That was, this is certainly colourful. We will not be able to lose this building in a hurry. More's the pity. Okay, so if you enjoyed that video, please give it a like and um, subscribe as well. We are on all forms of social media. We've got Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. We are looking to expand probably, so yeah, we'll see what happens. Keep an eye on the descriptions down below and all our social media links should be down below. If there's any other challenges as well you're wanting to see us do in The Sims 4, you know, similar to ones we've just done with the colours, give us a shout down in the comments and I'll see you on the next one.